The blanket ban is cruel. Please just give me somewhere indoors that I can meet my friends and talk to people and generally have a social life. It's been, I've been robbed of now. What happens, we're a democracy where there should be a freedom of choice. And my little pub, should have a sign outside, this is a smoking pub. If you don't like it, there's three big pubs up the road. It's really as simple as that. My name is Greg Knight, I'm a Conservative MP for East Yorkshire. I'm here because I believe in freedom of choice yeah. and, the right, and the right of an individual to choose to smoke if they wish to do so. I'm supporting this campaign because pubs and clubs are very important to local communities, particularly in rural areas. And I just feel the current ban is unfair and there's something slightly obscene about a government of any political party taking a huge cut in tax from a product to help fund its services and then treating the people who buy that product as pariahs and criminals. Would you please give a fantastic warm welcome to Mr. David Hockney. I'm a happy smoker. I do travel around, by the way, France and uh, Germany, and it's not the same there. It's not at all. They do make accommodation for smokers. Uh, it's much more civilized. I think here it's got mean spirited, utterly, utterly mean spirited. The smoking ban has been an absolute disaster for Britain's pubs and clubs. Of course there are other factors involved as well. There's been the recession, there's the high uh, beer duty, there's cheap supermarket beer. But we know from research that the acceleration in pub closures has been directly attributed to the smoking ban. It's been a fantastic turnout today. I'm thrilled that so many people have come. We will be back here next year with more people. And we will be back here the year after that with more people. And the year after that until this ban gets amended. So thank you very much for coming and we'll see you again next year. Thank you.